in this video we are going to see that how can you use python.env package to manage your environment variables so firstly go on your browser and check for its documentation with pypy pypi python.env this is the package name and pypy is the website name we can refer here for documentation so this is the command for installing python package so let's go in our vs code let's open vs code so this was the app which we have created in our last video now here just open your terminal and paste the same command here now here you have to notice one thing that we have already dot venv here but that venv is not your env file your env file will be this dot env so this is our configuration file and this is our virtual environment where all the dependencies are installed so this is our virtual environment this will be our configuration file from which we will uh, load some data here uh, as you can see that uh, localhost is written like this actually this is hard coded now in, uh, now we will see that how can you load this from your environment file env file you can see let's move to our documentation so after installing your python library you have to uh, use this command copy this and i will tell you what this is actually doing let's create a a uh, new new file and name this as program.py and paste this line here so what this is actually doing this is importing load.env load uh, from your .env package now you have to import your os then load env so so let's uh, move to pypy for further documentation now what you have to do is load this this particular function from dot env that is dot env very values now what you have to do is os dot here you can see os dot get env actually this was dot get env api key but in our env file there is nothing named as uh, api key so let's create our first variable api underscore key equal to in string values your api key let's say as this is the api key a random mix of alphabets and numerical values you have to get this API key just a second and enclose this in a bracket then print this for checking that it's working properly or not print let's run this It is showing none. Let me check uh, what's the error. Let's see our environment file. Okay, I think I have not saved this file. Let's uh, save this file. And now rerun our program. Here you can see our API key now. This is our API key which we have typed there. Now go in our environment uh, variable file. And if we want to return this whole environment uh, variable file in a single click, then what you have to do is just type here print. Just a second. Okay, print. 
dot env values and enclose our environment variable file in this dot env let's run this here you can see our whole environment variable file in the form of ordered dictionary so that's all for this video now let's see you in the next video